Father God, good afternoon to you today. Thank you for allowing us to wake up and minister today. Thank you for being our God. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Thank you for Jesus. We thank you that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess the Lord Jesus Christ to the glory of you. Holy Spirit, minister to us now. Open our hearts. Open our hearts to receive the message planned for us to receive today. In Jesus' name. Satan, we rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Go now because of God's majestic presence. Father God, Jehovah, we give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The devil. The devil. Evil appears early in Genesis with the serpent figure. In Genesis 3, 1 through 5, and I quote, Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God hath made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die, for God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. While Genesis does not identify the, this figure as Satan, Revelation alludes to him as such in Revelation 12, 9. And we'll go there now. Revelation 12, 9. And the great dragon was cast out that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world, he was cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him. The scriptures portray Satan as a personal being in direct opposition to God, direct opposition to God and his purposes. Satan is not equal to God, nor does he threaten God's power. Isaiah 45, 5 and 7. Let's go there. Isaiah 45, 5 and 7, or 5 through 7. I am the Lord, and there is none else, there is no God beside me. I girded thee, though thou hast not known me, that they may know from the rising of the sun, that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. I am the Lord, and there is none else. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I the Lord do all these things. In the Old Testament now, the word Satan is used as a verb or noun and translated as adversary. When used as a verb, it means to act as an adversary, accuser, or in a hostile manner. Uh, go to Genesis 27. 41. We're going to be in Genesis just for a minute. Genesis 27, 41. And I quote, And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, The days of mourning 
for my father are at hand, then I will slay my brother Jacob. I will slay my brother Jacob. Go to Genesis 49, 23. Genesis 49, 23. And I quote, The archers have sorely grieved him and shot at him and hated him. Look at the evil, the hate, all the evil that Satan causes. Go to Genesis 50, 15. Genesis 50, 15. And when Joseph's brethren saw that their father was dead, they said, Joseph will peradventure hate us and will certainly requite us all the evil which we did unto him. Joseph will certainly requite us all the evil which we did unto him. Joseph's brothers were very, very, very evil toward him. Very, very evil toward him. Please go now, if you will, to... Oh, let's go to Zechariah. No, let's go to... Let's stay in Genesis while we're here. Genesis 50, 15. I think that's what we just read. Genesis 50, 15. So let's go to Zechariah 3, 1. Zechariah 3, 1. And I quote, And he showed me Joshua, the high priest, standing before the angel of the Lord, and Satan standing at his right hand to resist him. A person may act in such a manner toward others or God. 1 Samuel 29, 4. 1 Samuel 29, 4. Thank you, Lord. And the princes of the Philistines were wroth with him, and the princes of the Philistines said unto him, Make this fellow return, that he may go again to his place, which thou hast appointed him, and let him not go down with us to battle, lest in the battle he be an adversary to us. For wherewith should he reconcile himself unto his master, should it not be with the heads of these men. Please go to 1 Kings 5, 4. 1 Kings 5, 4. And I quote, but now the Lord my God hath given me rest on every side, so that there is neither adversary nor evil occurred. First Kings eleven fourteen. And the Lord stirred up an adversary unto Solomon. Hey Dad the Edomite. He was of the king's seed in Edom. 1123. First Kings were still there. And God stirred him up another adversary, Rezon, the son of Eli Adah, which fled from his lord, Hadar Ezer, king of Zobah. We're going to continue on and read verse 25. And he was an adversary to Israel all the days of Solomon beside the mischief that Hadad did. And he abhorred Israel and reigned over Syria. Please go to Psalms 71.13. Psalm 71, 13.
Let them be confounded and consumed that are adversaries to my soul. Let them be covered with reproach and dishonor that seek my hurt. We're in Psalm now. Uh, we're going to go to 109. I'm going to read you verse 4, verse 6, and verse 20. That's 109, Psalm 109, verse 4, verse 6, and verse 20. Again, Psalm 109, verse 4, verse 6, and verse 20. And I quote, For my love, they are my adversaries, but I give myself unto prayer. Verse 6, Set thou a wicked man over him, and let Satan stand at his right hand. Verse 20, Let this be the reward of mine adversaries from the Lord, and of them that speak evil against my soul. Satan is chief of the fallen angels. Listen, Satan is chief of the fallen angels. From mankind's creation, Satan and the fallen angels were active rebels against God. It appears that pride was the source of Satan's downfall. Uh, go to 1 Timothy 3, 6. 1 Timothy 3, 6. Not a novice, lest being lifted up with pride, he fall into the condemnation of the devil. Pride. Pride was the source of Satan's downfall. Pride. The most extensive discussion of Satan is found in Job, in Job chapters 1 and chapter 2. Satan appears as an agent of God whose purpose appears to be testing human beings. Job 1, 8. Job 1, 8. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and upright man, one that feareth God and escheweth evil. When he appears before God, when Satan appears before God, he comes with the sons of God's members of the heavenly council. Listen, when he appears before God, he comes with the sons of God, the sons of God. Members of the heavenly council, Job 1, 6. Let's see what that says. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came also along with them. Satan asked God, Does Job fear God for nothing? Job 1, 9. Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Does Job fear God for naught? Then he im the faith of the righteous Job. In order to disprove Satan's claim, God grants him certain powers. He attacks Job, but only with God's permission. Listen, he attacks Job, but only with God's permission. In Zechariah 3, where we were just a while ago, Satan stands at the high priest's right hand in order to accuse him. In 1 Chronicles 21 1. Well, let's go to 1 Chronicles 21 1. Let's just paint this the way it's supposed to be. 1 Chronicles 21 1. And I quote And Satan stood up against Israel and provoked David to number Israel. Satan tempts King David to take a census of Israel. Satan is clever, very clever. Let's go to the New Testament now. By the time of the New Testament, the doctrine of Satan was well developed. The origin of evil was placed in Satan, recognizing the reality of evil beyond the scope of human will.
The New Testament mentions Satan over 35 times. The New Testament has many different names for Satan. The Gospels refer to Satan as tempter in Matthew 4, 3. And I quote, Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. He is known as the tempter. Ruler of demons. He's known as the ruler of demons. Matthew 9.34, Matthew 12.24, Mark 3.22, and Luke 11.15. He is known as the evil one in Matthew 13.38. And the enemy in Matthew 13, 39, and the father of lies in John 8, 44, a murderer in John 8, 44, and the ruler of this world in John 12, 31, and John 14, 30, and John 16, 11. Paul referred to him as the God of this world in 2 Corinthians 4, 4, the prince of the powers of the air, in Ephesians 2.2 2, and the ruler of darkness of this age in Ephesians 6.12. Now let's look at all of those scriptures I just gave you. He is known as the ruler of demons in Matthew 9.34 and 12. Let's just go there. Matthew 9.34 and I quote, but the Pharisees said he cast us out devils through the prince of the devils. Let's look at Matthew 12, 24. 12:24. But when the Pharisees heard it, they said, This fellow doth not cast out devils, but by Beelzebub, the prince of the devils. Mark 3, 22. Let's go there. Mark 3, 22. And the scribes which came down from Jerusalem said, He hath Beelzebub, and by the prince of the devils cast us he out devils. Let's go to Mark eleven fifteen, if you will. Mark eleven fifteen. But some of them said, He cast us out devils through Beelzebub, the chief of the devils. Let's go back to Matthew 13, 38. Matthew 13, 38. The field is the world. The good seed are the children of the kingdom, but the tares are the children of the wicked one. That was Matthew 13.38, excuse me. I want to read you Matthew 13.39. The enemy that sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the world, and the reapers are the angels. The father of lies, he is called in, I believe, John 8.44. Let's go there. John 8.44. Yea, are of uh, the father the devil ye are of your father the devil and the lust of your father ye will do he was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him when he speaketh a lie he speaketh of his own for he is a liar and the father of it Please go to John twelve thirty one. Now is the judgment of this world. Now shall the prince of this world be cast out. Go to John fourteen thirty.
Hereafter I will not talk much with you, for the prince of this world cometh and hath nothing in me. Go to John 16, 11. Of judgment because the prince of this world is judged. 2 Corinthians 4.4 4. 2 Corinthians 4.4 4. In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. 